a foot plank. So I love this one for helping us stretch out through the ankles and creating more strength through the thighs. We're gonna come on down to the elbows just like a normal plank. Set it up by sending the tops of the feet down. So you're going to press the uh, big toe into the ground and then bring the other leg back to meet. Feet are just about hip distance apart. And then hold here. Drop. And it's like you're pulling your elbows in towards your feet. So everything's pulling in towards the midline. So we don't want to sag, we want to tighten it up. Like you have like two grips on each side and then you're lifting up in between. Breathe, keep tucking the hips under. And as you tuck the hips, you lift and firm the thighs. Roll the inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Press the elbows down, protract the shoulders, creating space behind the heart. Reach the crown of your head forward. I have no idea what our time is, or we're holding this for a minute. So we'll hold it for just another few seconds, just for good measure. Make sure the hips are even. And it's like the frontal hip bones are moving towards each other, so you lift up, and the pelvis and the sits bones hug towards each other. Squeeze, and lower down. Okay, you can take Sphinx Pose here. Bring the elbows down, spread the fingers wide, tops of the feet still down. Roll your feet to the pinky edge side of your foot. Lift your chest up, and then press your hips down into the mat. Pull your heart forward. Roll the shoulder heads back and down the spine. You can lift your head up slightly. Let your gaze be at the very tip of the nose. Okay. And good job.